Hello, this is Scott Bocchino from telecoms.com here at 5G World 2018, where Qualcomm, Nokia and BT are jointly demoing a 5G millimetre wave to a prototype handset. So here's what representatives from the three companies had to say about it. Dina Flore from Qualcomm, can you tell us what's being demonstrated here today? So today we are demonstrating a 5G millimetre wave demo. This is a pretty exciting demo actually. It's 5G new radio in action. It's about Nokia setting the pace. As you know, we commit to accelerate rollout. We will deliver commercial systems end of this year in lead markets like America, North America, Japan, China, uh, also Australia. But what we see here is an additional proof point to actually what it means. And it starts with 28 gig over the air. So if you don't see the antenna well, it's a good sign. Okay. Because it tells you that the signal, the uh, millimeter wave signal, is actually penetrating the wall. Okay. And all of this powered up by 5G radio, including Nokia Air Scale, RF, baseband, as well as converged edge core, uh, converged edge core powered by airframe, commercially ready. So there are three features that are special about this demo. First, we are showing a first silicon implementation of 5G millimeter wave in a small smartphone form factor. Second, we are showing interoperability with a partner infravendor, which is a very important milestone for the industry as it gets ready to commercialization next year. Third, we are showing an application over the top. We are not just showing a speedometer, what you can do in terms of data rates, but we are showing what you can do in terms of application running on top. We are showing exactly a streaming VR capabilities on top of that. Over time, I mean, the, the initial opportunities are, are going to be giving people, if you like, more and better 4G, so enhanced mobile broadband, that's going to be the first set of use cases. Over time, 5G will see its real differentiation as we get into similar to what were demonstrated here, business to business services. So things which will use the low latency of 5G, the guaranteed delivery of packets, all of that kind of stuff. Now the, uh, the, the typical applications that you see in exhibitions like this are things like self-driving cars, virtual reality. I think things like augmented reality will become a key driver of 5G technologies. You know, people in their everyday world, but getting more information into okay. their head in, through maybe VR glasses, oh sorry, AR glasses, that and kind of technology. Um, what's, what are the next steps for 5G? Yeah, the first le uh, version of the standards, the release 15, it's what is going to be uh, rolling out in the, in the field starting from next year and you will see in the next two, three years based on the release 15. But uh, of course, the standards is moving on and new features are being introduced. Uh, in the release 16 version of the standard, we will see interesting capabilities will be added on top of the platform. For example, the URLLC capability allowing ultra reliable low latency communication, as well as more advanced schemes to deal with the spectrum sharing and uh, access to spectrum and uh, so on and so forth. So we have, uh, there is a pipeline of interesting features which will enrich the platform, which will start rolling out next year. Great, and, and lastly, can you give us a sense when we might expect to see um, 5G enabled handsets in Europe? Yeah, actually it's coming up and uh, there will be devices next year, uh, commercial devices showing up in Europe um, as, as early as next year. Great, look forward to it. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. So as you can see, 5G is nearly upon us and millimetre waves an intrinsic part of it. We're all looking forward to next year when we actually get some devices in our hands. <laughs>